I love spicy food. Cultures all over the world have harnessed the power of chilies in their cuisine. All over Asia and the Americas, these flavors are extremely common. But when the heat is too much, milk. Milk is the one thing that can save me. But why? Why is milk, cream, or even alcohol well-known remedies for calming the heat? The heat is due to the presence of molecules like capsaicin. And no matter how many gallons of water you're drinking, it won't help reduce the heat at all. Let's work out why and take the heat out of this problem. This is Think4. Edible fats and edible oils are esters, which are extremely common in our diet. They can be vegetal, like olive, ribseed, or palm oil, or animal, like lard or cod liver oil. These esters are formed from a very specific alcohol called glycerol, or propane 1,2,3-triol. Thanks to this 3-hydroxyl group OH, it can react by condensation with three carboxylic acid molecules, also known as fatty acids. The properties of the fat and oil will depend on the structure of the long chains of carbons attached to these fatty acids. Indeed, if you've ever picked up any nutrition label at the back of your favorite food, you must have heard of saturated and unsaturated fats. This is an indication of the presence of a double bond on the carbon chain. If at least one double bond is present in the fatty acid, the fat or oil will be called unsaturated. You can quickly test to see if an oil is unsaturated, as the presence of a double bond will easily discolor a bromine solution by an addition reaction. Double bonds will give a certain rigidity to the fatty acids, which will not be able to pack closely. The more double bonds are present, the lower the intermolecular forces or van der Waals forces will be. The lower the melting point will be. This is why oil, such as olive oil, are liquid at room temperature. Oleic acid has 18 carbons with a double bond on the ninth. By the way, that's where the name omega, three, six, and nine branded on some oils are come from. It refers to where the double bond is. If the fatty acid does not present any double bond, it will mostly be found in fat, and it will be called saturated. Because of the lack of double bond, the van der Waals forces will be much stronger, and fats are solids at room temperature. Lard, for example, has a high concentration of palmitic acid, a saturated chain of 15 carbons, and has a melting point around 40 degrees. Fat and oils will have another interesting property. The lack of OH group, or ions, in the long carbon chain structures make them non-polar and incapable to bond to polar molecules such as water, meaning they will be insoluble in water or hydrophobic. The best you can do is shake vigorously to form small droplets of oil dispersed in what is called an emulsion, but the two liquids will eventually separate. So, molecules like capsaicin will attach at one end to the heat receptors in your mouse, but at the other end, a long carbon chain makes them extremely hydrophobic, explaining why water will have a hard time washing away or dissolving capsaicin in your mouse when you took a bite of the wrong paper. On the other end, milk is mostly water, but it also contains a lot of fats which will be able to dissolve that spicy molecule. So now you know why your mouth gets hot with chilies. And also how to cool it back down again. Forget about water and reach for the alternatives like milk, cream, or when you're old enough and in moderation, alcohol. Understanding about the nature of fat and oils will not only get you through higher chemistry, it will also stop you from getting hot and bothered. This was Think4. Thanks for watching.